What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have a brand new series on the channel, hashtag Freelander. Yes, that's right, Mikhail Lander, now 30 years old, at his new team, Barry McLaren, this season and he's finally been freed from Movistar and Team Sky as they were when he rode for them. And now, at the age of 30, if we take a quick look back at Mikhail Lander's career and his best results, uh, he's had a few stage wins at the Giro, a stage win at the Vuelta, He's been fourth at the Tour, third at the Giro, I think once in 2015. He's always been there there or thereabouts in the Grand Tours and been a contender going in, uh, but he's never quite delivered in the GC. And the biggest stage race he has won in his career is the Vuelta a Burgos. And I think that shows just how much of an underperformance it has been so far by Landa. And perhaps he's been unlucky as well on quite a few occasions. Um, obviously, he's not the strongest time trialist. It is his big weakness in the GC, uh, but climbing and going up mountains, he is one of the strongest riders in cycling, undoubtedly. And so, this series is all about trying to win Mikhail Lander, his first Grand Tour, and try and win some races in general, to be honest. Um, he's only got maybe five more years max at the peak of cycling. He'll be 35 in five years' time, of course. So I think he will probably be on the decline by then. Uh, so maybe we've got five years to try and win a Grand Tour, try and win the Tour de France with Mikael Lander. So taking a look at the calendar, I have set up Mikael Lander's race schedule for the season. We start our season in the Vuelta Algarve in Portugal. Nice little stage race to get us underway. And then we go straight into Paris-Nice at the beginning of March. And this is a big target because if we can win the GC of Paris-Nice with Lander, it will be the biggest GC win of his career. So all of these races are important for us. Uh, moving forward, we've got this race in Spain. Then we have the Ardennes Classics. Um, moving on, we've got a little rest before the Dauphiné, of course, in the build-up to the Tour de France, which is our big, big target for the season. I've kind of based this calendar on Mikko Lander's uh, real-life programme, I think. Um, but yeah, obviously, we're going to target the Tour de France, see what we can do there. Um, and that will give us a real indication as to uh, where we are and if we're still at the top of, of uh, GC racing, really, in the Grand Tours. Um, I do have the Vuelta set up and a few more races uh, to end the season, uh, but this is all subject to change, I think. Our real target for the season is the Tour de France. So you can see here in season objectives, I have set Paris-Nice as our early season objective. Like I've said already, that'll be a big win if we can win that race. Then the Tour de France um, in July. And of course, Il Lombardia, um, I've just set that up. I'm not sure uh, if we'll be racing that. I'm planning to, but um, yeah, we'll see closer to the time. So looking at our new squad, of course, Mikko Lander does join a new team this season in Barre McLaren, replacing Vincenzo Nibli as their main kind of GC threat, the revamped team as well. Some beautiful new jerseys, it must be said. And we are definitely the leader of the team. Riders like Caruso, uh, we've got Peo Bilbao, Root Pools, um, a few other riders as well can be really strong helpers for us in the GC um, of some grand tours and stage races. Also riders like Dylan Toons, um, he's a very strong rider, more of a puncher though. He's a leader in his own right, I think. Sonny Corbrelli is probably the team's best sprinter. Uh, Massey Mohoric, he's a very good rider as well, very talented. Same with Ivan Garcia Cortina, very, very talented rider. Um, obviously, we can't see all of their attributes just yet. Uh, it's just the World DB I'm using though, so um, all their attributes will be very similar um, to the World DB. And a quick note, I have set up the contracts to uh, the real life contract, so we are contracted. Uh, to Barry McLaren till the end of 2021, as you can see. Obviously, I've set this up in pro cyclist mode um, and I've changed our rider to Lander. I've put our level to 21. I'm not sure if this is going to be accurate or not. I think the max level is 25 or 26, something like that. Uh, and that does mean we've only got four or five upgrades, which means we can only get four or five skill points. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these skill points. I think some of them are slightly overpowered, to be honest. Uh, let me know down in the comments if I should, do, uh, if I should use these skill points um, and what I should use them on, basically. So yeah, guys, I hope you're looking forward to this series just as much as I am. I cannot wait to get started with this. Uh, looking at Lander, um, obviously his time trialing is a massive, massive downfall of his um, and he always loses minutes in the Grand Tours in the time trials at least, uh, which means he's under pressure to do well in the mountains. 
Um, so it is going to be tough for us to win a Grand Tour with such poor time trialing. We're going to do our best though. And if not, you know, winning races like Paris-Nice, Tirreno Adriatico, the Dauphiné, they're all going to be massive results if we can deliver them with Landa. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to wrap up this quick introductory episode right here. I hope you're looking forward to this just like I am. I cannot wait, honestly, to start this series and try and win some races with Mikhail Landa. Um, worth noting, I am going to play this on times 1.09. Um, and if you don't know, that's kind of above the standard extreme, um, which is going to make things very, very difficult for us. Uh, but that'll make it only more satisfying if we can deliver with Mikhail Landa. And also worth noting, if you guys want a tutorial on how to set up a real rider as your pro cyclist, let me know down in the comments. I think I might make that for you very soon. But anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed this introductory episode and are looking forward to the series, drop a like down below. Tell me what you thought down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.